Jana, Dr. Hamilton. Everything's going to be okay. Like baby. <laughs> I need you to relax your stomach muscles. Okay. She's having a complete placental abruption. What's wrong with my baby? Your placenta has dislodged from the uterine lining, which means your baby needs to come out right now. Do you understand? I'm going to perform a C-section. Okay. Call OR and tell them we're coming down. Dr. Hamilton. Oxytocin's not working. Can you... Dr. Hamilton, it's not her. It's you. Oh, shit. No! Welcome to Ernst. Thank you for doing this. I know adopting in America would have been easier, but... I just want a baby. Come on, let me make you breakfast. Come on. And I'll show you around the island. things. See them all over the island. You mean the runes? No, these these carving things. Not ruins, I said runes. It's old Viking script. And you have to watch yourselves. Might turn out people make fun of your accent. I don't have an accent. Spoken like a true American. Right, now... We're north of the last inhabited house in the UK. The closest train station. It's 300 kilometers that way in Norway. Really? Yeah. I used to come here when I was a kid. It felt like the end of the world. What's that? Well, that, that's, that's Trunnell Island. That's where we'll be adopting our baby from. You okay? I just hate not knowing why. Um, I'm looking for Dr. Whitcliffe's office. Oh, he's in the third floor, just that way. Thank you. This is quite a CV. Thank you. I think you might find things a lot quieter here at Saxe Vord than you may be used to. Well, I hope so. 
So how soon would you like to get started? If you need a week or two to settle in. No, actually, I'd, I'd like to keep busy. Idle hands are the devil's playthings, eh? <laughs> Something like that. We act as a fully functioning hospital in all outpatient treatments. We have oncology, pediatrics, coronary care. There's even a psychiatrist on call. And then anything long term, they transfer to Lennox. And this is your office. Oh, nice. What's in that way? Upstairs is dental, downstairs physiotherapy and a bounds unit, and then in the basement we have the mortuary. Well, you certainly pack it all in. Well, you have your father-in-law to thank for that. He prided himself on the care he provided. He said, just because we're an island doesn't mean people don't deserve the best. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there he is. Is that the heartbeat? Yes. A toast. My only son and heir, beautiful wife, and to my future grandson. Cheers, you. It's good to have you back, Duncan. And thank you, Tora, for bringing him. No, thank you, Richard, for everything, for the house, for my job, for the adoption. What families are for. Anything you ever need, please don't hesitate to ask. How are you finding the islands, dear? I think they're beautiful. And the hospital? You're settling in? Ken treating you well, I hope. He's a prick. Oh, Duncan, why would you say that? Because he's licked Dad's are since we were kids. He's modeled his entire career on him. And criticizing the man for knowing what he wanted. Who's for pudding? I made your favorite, Duncan. Cranachan. You spoil me, thank you. Tora, um, <clears throat> why don't you go and help elsewith with the coffee? Not too much sugar, sweetie. Oh, why is that? There's uh, too many New York slices. Got to lose a few pounds. Oh. Nonsense. I was going to die up, man. Who's this? Is this you? No, that's Duncan's mother, Rose. She died shortly after Duncan's birth. I was at the library. Oh, no, dear, that's Richard's study. Your dad doesn't know you're diabetic, does he? Well, and burst his illusion that Guthrie men are perfect. And here we are, Tronal International. It's amazing to think that this is all just maternity. You'd be surprised how many women need sensitive solutions to unfortunate or ill-timed pregnancies, even in this day and age. And with us, they guarantee their baby will be well cared for. That's one of the reasons they come to Tronal. What's the other reason? Anonymity. So, who provides your obstetric support? We have a resident OBGYN, a fellow of the Royal College. He has six fully qualified midwives working with him. So I can assure you our clients are well cared for. Would you like some tea? A dram of whiskey? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I'm sure your father explained the process. You're set up with bank accounts and jobs here on the island. Oh, why the 12 months before we can adopt the baby? Well, that's to settle any residency issues with the Scottish government. But we don't go giving our wee nippers to just anyone. 
No, this is just a matter of some filing fees, and we can get you on the waiting list. Is that your son? It's very handsome. Thank you. We adopted him from Trollhub, actually. Really? He's not yours. He has your eyes. Hi, this is Dr. Hamilton. I'm going to need someone to cover my morning patients. Gothi. Detective Inspector McKee. Hi. This is D.S. Tullock. Hmm. What can you tell us, Stephen? Well, at first glance, what we have here are the remains of a female aged somewhere between 25 and 35 years of age. The skin has been tanned by the peat, but from her bone structure and the shape of her skull, I'm pretty sure that she's Caucasian. What are those markings? They look like runes. They've either been carved or branded into the flesh. From the position, I'd say they couldn't have been self-inflicted. You sure about that? As sure as I am that she didn't die of natural causes. Are you okay? Did you hear that? Her heart was cut out. Gives me the creeps to think of her lying downstairs right now. You shouldn't be in here. I'm sorry. I, I just... You do realize this woman gave birth shortly before she was murdered. This is a police investigation. No, that's okay. Go on, doctor. The uterus contracts 
between one and three weeks after delivery, depending on the age of the mother. The younger the woman, the faster this happens. In my opinion, this woman gave birth between a week to 10 days before she died. You're sure about that? Well, if you look here, you can see that, that she was nursing. Is she right? Your talents are wasted on the living, Dr. Hamilton. So what do we have so far? Well, we know that the victim's rib cage was split open with some kind of blade, and that she died of a massive hemorrhage when her heart was cut out. Why take the heart? Well, maybe someone was trying to harvest her organs. Well, this was no harvest. Pulmonary trunk and ascending aorta were both quite badly hacked out. Also, there's trauma on the wrist, the upper arm, and the ankle. Probably from some kind of restraints. So she was probably still alive when they did this to her? <sighs> Jesus. Well, these islands were rife with this sort of thing way back when. The Druids, the Norsemen, they all performed ritual sacrifices. You think she's that old? I mean, she looks so... Preserved? Well, she's a bog body, buried in peat. After death, putrefactive bacteria secretes digestive enzymes which decompose the body. But it's phagnum moss in the peat, chemically reacts with the enzymes and immobilizes them. If you had to guess? Found these strawberry seeds in her stomach. Wild strawberries haven't grown around these parts in over 200 years. Two hundred years, that hardly seems possible. Google Tolland Man. He was dug up sometime in the 50s. He was in such good condition that the Danish thought that he was some recent murder. Turns out he was from the 4th century BC. Ah. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, all this wood's rotten. I've got to throw it all out. What happened? Builder in the village said there was a, a flood a couple of years ago, some big storm, and the whole area was underwater for three days. Seriously, I thought this place would just be a nice 12 month flip. Need a hand? You with a hammer? No, can we get me some pizza? Got <laughs> your office license. Yeah, well. Hey. When did you say this happened? Uh, early 2012. Are you sure? Well, that's what you said. Why? did a thorough autopsy, Dr. Hamilton. What's going on? If the peat bog floods, its preserving abilities become diluted. Just take a look at the dates. So if Jane Doe was in the ground before the storm, her body would be in much poorer condition than it is. The case is closed, Dr. Hamilton. Okay, well, what if I'm right? What if she was murdered less than three years ago? You're not. Okay. So you're going to turn your back on a sacrificial murder. Now you listen to me, and you listen to me good. Sacrificial, satanic, ritualistic. They're all words I don't want to hear. If you want someone dead, you slit their throat, or you put a pillow over their head. Maybe you blow their brains out with a shotgun, but you do not do what was done to that poor girl, and I don't care what you call it. What are you doing still sitting there? But what do you expect him to say? He's, he's just trying to keep a lid on things. Talk, you've got to let it go. 
There is one question nobody's asking. What's that? What happened to the baby? So when did you find it? This morning. But I'm pretty sure I haven't worn those boots since that day. ZM and JH. Zoe McClowski and Joss Howick. Councillor Howick? You must be mistaken. Well, I checked island records. You know how many women whose names begin with Z have been married on this island in the past 50 years? No. Three. How many ZMs? One. Plus, there's a child and his age fits. Oh. Okay, I'll look into it. That's all I ask. feeling oh I'm fine oh, it's a terrible thing you find it on body you're tense as hell yeah thank you Catherine I was wondering when you were going to show your face around here get your hands off my wife just being friendly what are you doing here? Lunch, remember? Right. So, you know you've got nothing to worry about with Ken, I mean. No, I know, I know. Just all his hands on you and um. Mm. Hang on. Yeah, it's me. folk. Who? The grey fellas. Are you talking about these? Aye. But you know what these are. Trowy marks. I'm sorry, What? what's a trowy? The trows. Jay, leave the good doctor alone, will you? No, no, it's, it's okay, really. Can you read these? Hey. Jimmy, away with you. Sorry about that, Doctor. You're nobody again. The 
shrouds, eh? Now, why on earth would you be asking about these old stories? Oh, just curiosity. You want to be careful. You know what happened to the cat? I'm just joshing. Are you going to tell me why this sudden fascination on local folklore? Well, have you ever seen these? These are from the body you found. How do you know that? Because Andy McKee already asked me to translate them. What are you doing with them? Well, I just can't get them out of my head. I want to know what they mean. Well, therein lies the rub. They're not from the Norse runic alphabet. So as far as I can tell, they don't mean anything. I met a guy in a bar, um, Jim somebody. He said he could translate them. Jimmy McNally? Yeah. <laughs> well, I shouldn't set too much store by what he says. You know, we do have a police force here, you know, Tora. It may not be much of one, but um, it works for us. You're looking really good, and I'll be seeing you in a month. And you get some rest, okay? Oh, Sergeant Tulloch. Come in. So how bad is it? You're six weeks along. Shit. Sorry. Not the reaction you usually get, I'm sure. Well, it's early days. You still have options. No, I don't. I'm going to write you a prescription for some prenatal vitamins. I was praying it was stress. I should be so lucky, right? Thanks. Sergeant, is there any news on the case? Oh, right. Um, I spoke to Councillor Holwick. He wasn't happy, obviously, but I showed him the ring. He denied it was his wife, said hers is buried with her at St. Magnus. So she is dead? Three years ago. Some sort of horse riding accident. So the time of death fits. If she had the boy within two weeks of her death, She then didn't. She... Mr. Holwick adopted his son as a newborn about eight months after Zoe died. What about the initials, though? She's the only one on the island that fits. Maybe that's the problem. We get thousands of visitors here. Every year they trample all over this island. Any one of them could be the ZM that lost the ring. Probably has nothing to do with our Jane Doe. What, so that's... that's it? We have no ID. The case is closed. Look, for what it's worth, I looked through our database for the last three years and nobody matching Jane Doe's age or height was reported missing. Well, what if she wasn't reported missing? Then I don't know what database you look through for that. Thanks. Doctor, will you let me get out there? Oh, would you? Thank you.
Did you see the man's face? No. But it's pretty clear he didn't want me getting out of there with that x-ray. You stole this from the mortuary? I took it to see if I could find a match. And then Stephen Rennie showed up and took the rest of the autopsy file. Well, that's evidence. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it will. It will when you see who Jane Doe is. Teresa Rennie? There must be a mistake. Why? Because Rennie's wife died of ovarian cancer in October 2011. There's no way she had a child. You must have grabbed the wrong x-ray. I didn't. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but you now have a positive ID. So the question is, what are you going to do with it? I'll do the talking. You find these in a corridor floor and run a search to match for filing, OK? Sure. Sir, some new evidence has come to light. Ah, oh, Sergeant Tullock, Dr. Hamilton. You both know Stephen Gale? Hello, Tora. How's Duncan? He's fine. If you don't mind, sir, we need a private word. There's no need for that. I've filled him in on what's going on. Is that right? Last week, a body was found on your land, Tora. Yeah, my sympathies, by the way. The body was that of a young woman who was brutally murdered a long time ago and whose remains are probably destined for the Museum of Natural History. Yet despite the coroner's findings, the two of you have engaged in an unethical, possibly illegal, comparison of dental records and believe you found a match to Dr. Rennie's late wife, Teresa. How do you know? It's a small island. Problem, Mr. Gare, is that we've now revised the estimate in the time of death. It's irrelevant. Whether your Jane Doe died last week or a thousand years ago. Teresa was under the supervision of the finest doctors at Saxe Vaud when she passed. She was then cremated. There were over 50 people at her service, including McKee here. That's true. You seem very sure of Teresa Rennie's medical records. That's because my own wife passed away right around the same time. It was a very hard time for everyone. How could Rennie's wife be the body buried in our field when everybody saw her being buried in the graveyard six months earlier? I don't know. Um, how could she have a baby when she's riddled with cancer? Then I've got to go, okay? I'll see you back at the house. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> you can leave your bags over there, Susie. Can I help you with something, Dr. Hamilton? Were you working here three years ago? No, I wasn't. I'm sorry, do you want me to call Dr. Wycliffe? No, it's okay. Now remember, she may not look quite herself. Your mother's lost a lot of weight due to the chemo.
everybody knows that Teresa Rennie died of stage four ovarian cancer, right? Correct. So, how could she be in the hospital and buried in my field? She couldn't. Exactly. So, what if Teresa Rennie was never in the hospital? What do you mean? Have you ever been to an oncology ward? Some of the victims are so badly ravaged by cancer that their own families barely recognize them. Are you saying he switched his sick wife for someone else? I'm saying Teresa Rennie was never even sick. But why go to all that risk? There wasn't even any life insurance. Her death cost Rennie money. What if it wasn't about the money? What if it was about the baby? Just, just take a look at this. The Kunal Trous. You know these stories are told to wee bairns. Not this version. This was sent to me by an expert at Oxford University. The Kunal Trials were a patriarchal warrior race of Shetland males that believed themselves stronger, healthier, and smarter than ordinary men. Unable to beget female children to reproduce with, the Trials selected human females to marry, and babies born of these unions were always strong, healthy sons. Then nine days after delivery, and the trials having no further use for them, the mothers were sacrificed by having their hearts cut out. As part of the burial ceremony, the mother's corpse had sacred prayers carved into her flesh. The details are remarkable, but... Well, the guy from Oxford thinks that the trials were a real religious sect. Real? Yeah, what if they still are? And what, you think Stephen Rennie is one of them? I don't know. Yeah, well, I do. Look, it's the 21st century, and nobody would believe this stuff. It's crazy. All I'm saying is there is something weird going on on this island, and you can't just ignore this. It's my key. I have to get back. I'll see myself out. Look, I'm sorry, Tor, but... It's a small island and a group of the kind of power you're talking about. They just couldn't hide. Ah, doctor, can I get you a drink? Actually, do you have an address for Jim McNally? From Jimmy? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll get your pen. Hey, she's so, so, right. That's going to be Jimmy McNally.
Captain McKee. What, the Hamilton? What are you doing here? I was passing by. I saw the ambulance. Can it be of any help? Well, not with this one, I'm afraid. What happened? Drunk in Egypt must have fallen off. How do you know he was drunk? Well, McNally had a hard time finding him sober. Some of these roads are treacherous out there, Dark Daughter. You do well to remember that. It's important we can meet at the station or your office. What's this? Members of the Shetland Rite. And these dates next to them? Those are the dates their first wives died. And the stars next to that? Those whose baby either survived the mother or who adopted a son within nine months. Your husband's father's name's on this list. I know. takes planning and money, lots of money. Password protected. Stands out, Randy's accounts look in order, but you know, what's this? Three payments from Gare's account to something called the Kathy J. Morton Trust. Who's that? Don't know, but they add up to over three hundred thousand pounds. Look at the dates. September to October two thousand and eleven. Right around the time Teresa Randy reportedly died. I saw some kids leaving the building, and it looked like a burglary. Anyway, I ran a check on Catherine J. Morton. Guess what she died of? Ovarian cancer. Stage four, exactly the same as Theresa Rennie. Anyway, I'm driving up to Oban now to talk to the family to show them a picture of Stephen Rennie. If I hurry, I should make the last ferry. Okay, look, Duncan's here. 
I should go. So, call me when you talk to them. Go around, dickhead! Donna? You okay? Some arse thinks he owns the road. He just hit me. What? He hit you. What's going on? He's following me. We'll pull over. Let him pass. No, I'm not stopping in the middle of nowhere. Donna? Donna? Mr. McKee, I still have no leads. You should ask Stephen Rennie where he was last night. That's what you've got to stop this. What, if it was me out there, you would stop? That's an American accent, isn't that? Uh, New York. We went to Florida last year with the nippers. Disneyland, or is it Disney World? <laughs> I always get them confused. Yes, it's an easy mistake. Here, you never mind who it is. Did you see your breakfast? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but who did you say you are? My name is Dr. Tora Hamilton. I'm here on behalf of Detective Sergeant Tullock. Who I believe spoke to either you or your wife on the phone. She was inquiring about your sister-in-law. I thought nobody was going to be coming. Who told you that? Look, Mrs. If you're not a policewoman, then we don't have to answer anything. So if you'll excuse me, I've got to go to work. OK, Mark. May I call you Mark? You can call me whatever you want while you're leaving. Well, if I walk out that door, the next knock you hear will be the police, and they'll be asking you all about the Kathy Morton Trust and how a single-income family living in a house like this are able to drive a brand-new BMW and take in Florida vacations. It all started when Stephen saw her in the local paper. They'd run a small story about ovarian cancer. He said he wanted to help. Help, help. She was very ill. In bed all the time. Mark thought she needed to be in a hospice. It was bad for the wee nippers. Seeing their mum like that. He made her an offer to take part in some trials of a new drug. And in return, the drug company would set up a trust fund for her children. It gets released monthly for things like school uniforms and childcare. We get none of it, you understand? So, what happened after she agreed? Stephen paid the first instalment like he promised. And they came for her. Who came for her? An ambulance, a nurse. I don't really remember. It all happened so fast. Where'd they take her? I don't know. Did you not go visit her? She died a few days later. Well, what about the body? Did you go to the funeral? There wasn't one. He said that had been part of the agreement. Kathy's body would be used for research. How do you explain that to a child? So after Rennie took her away, you never saw your sister again. Who? Stephen Rennie. Who's that? I'm sorry. Who are we talking about? The man we were dealing with was a lawyer. Stephen Gare. Look familiar? 
should she? Her name is Kathy Morton. Now, she's the woman you all watch die of ovarian cancer, not Melissa Gare. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is that Melissa Gare is your Jane Doe. This is preposterous. Money doesn't lie. Where'd you get this? From Donna. I wish you could hear what his lawyer's telling him. Whatever it is, he doesn't look happy. What's she doing here? She refuses to leave. Put her in my office, give her a cup of tea or something. My daughters. They're beautiful. I have to take after the mother. Please, take a seat. I don't normally include civilians at this stage of an investigation, but in your case, it seems only fair to tell you that Stephen Gare gave us a full confession. What did he confess to? About the murder of Sergeant Tullock for starters. He knew his computer had been accessed, and he was worried in case she was uh, figuring everything out. About the Shetland Wright? About his money laundering scheme. What? He murdered his wife, Melissa, because she was threatening to expose him, unless he paid millions in a divorce. Knew the house was empty. He kept Melissa there until she gave birth. Then he killed her. That can't be right. This is a cult murder. What about the markings? What about the missing heart? All done to throw us off if the body was ever found. He said he got the idea of switching bodies, carving her up, cutting out her heart from a local legend. He claims he did this alone. That's right. Well, what about Teresa Rennie's x-rays? Planted by Gare. When Rennie found out, he panicked. Alison Gare is here. Right. Well, I hope this uh, gives you closure, Dr. Hamilton. And uh, I'd appreciate you keeping what I've told you between us for now. What happened to Melissa's baby? Gare faked an adoption. Does his current wife know? Not yet. Mrs. Gare? about Stephen Gare, I should have listened to you. Just answer me one thing. The other night, you weren't at work. You went to a meeting with the right. You followed me? Just tell me why you lied. Well, it's supposed to be a surprise. Dad's organizing a big party for us when we get the baby.
When can we take him home? We monitor the babies for nine days just to make sure there's no medical complications and to finalize all the paperwork. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're natural. Sorry, you look absolutely lovely. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful party. Do you mind if I borrow my son for a moment? Not at all. Lady of the hour standing alone. Oh, that won't do at all. Ken, you alone? No, I'm with my son, Hamish. He's very handsome. Do you have any more hidden away? No. I think you'll find that uh, one aunt's boy is quite enough. <laughs> oh, Judy calls. Stephen. Hi. Uh, Joanna, may I introduce Mr. Gray? Oh. Congratulations on your adoption. I'm sure you'll make a splendid mother. Right. Well, I'll just go and see if Elspeth needs a hand with anything.
tour it anywhere. No. Everybody's been wondering where you are. What? My son, Duncan or son, where are you? Duncan, you're wanted. Duncan, the honor is yours. from this you're one of them but i'm not if you couldn't give me a son they were going to kill you to make room for someone who could but we tried we tried so hard even though you knew what they would do to me i knew you'd never go to town what how could you know how how did you know what is this it's an unapproved male contraceptive. This is what you've been taking? Yeah. Are you even diabetic? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All this time, you let me think I was the reason we couldn't have kids when you... You were stopping us. I was protecting you. Protecting me? Yeah. You robbed me of my chance to be a mother! Do you think I don't know that? I'd four miscarriages because you were taking this shit! Right, and if you hadn't, you'd have been a mother for exactly nine days before they cut your fucking heart out! Is that why I should have let happen? Throw it away! Look, don't you get it? I do nothing, you die. I get you pregnant, you die. So I made a deal. We adopt one of them. They let you live. Who's the mother? Grey's coming. I need to tell him that you won't talk. Who is she? Tora, please! Who is she? It's Donna. Donna's alive. She's next. Nothing you can do. Tora! Nobody hurt, so that was the deal. You were only allowed to break tradition if you could control her. You couldn't. Son, I'd finish you right now. Nobody!
taken one of the boats. Men searching the island for her. I don't think she's in the building. Well, I don't pay to think. Duncan, what are you doing here? He's looking for his wife. No, 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 no. I, I, I came to warn you. I, I couldn't reason with her. She's here. I know. She's not down here. I'll wait here in case she doubles back. I don't care who does what. I just want the bitch found. Okay. I'll deal with your wife. When I'm done, maybe I'll take care of you. He's gone. Can remember. Wake her up, I've got to go.
It's this way to the lighthouse. Come on. Come on. Wait. Uh, please. My son. Please. You go to the boat. No, I'll go. Would you even recognize him? I'll be right behind you. Tara, no! Turn your back on us. You're no one of us. You can die like one of them. Guts, Tora. You would have been a strong, true mother. Don't you touch that baby. It's the ninth day. The ritual must be performed. The only question is, will it be done by me or you? Nobody has to do this. The first milk is done, the colostrum is gone. Her body is of no more use to the boy now than formula. She's his mother. No. You are. It's what you always wanted. It's what you've dreamed of. And here he is. But while other mothers only think their children are special, yours truly will be. 
All you have to do is slip the knife into her. And you get to go home. You get to live your lives. What do I have to do? Kneel over. You need to stab down hard and slice the ribcage in a sawing motion. Do it for your son. We give thanks for the life this glorious mother has given our newest son so that our genetic supremacy may continue. You think you can kill me? I'm not man. I could not throw. Wearing a necklace that says Zoe. Joss Halleck's wife. How many is that? Too many. Can I ask you something? Did you know about all this? I have daughters. somebody's daughter. 